Hey, this is Tim. Good to see you. We're in my hood right here in South Lake Union, 2200. This is John. He is the uh, manager barista of the local Starbucks here. And I want to just come and talk to you here for a few minutes about if you know your neighborhood barista. You know, we talk a lot about just loving your neighborhood, being in your neighborhood, knowing the people there, being in your community. I thought we'd just talk with John for a little bit. What's up, John? How's it going? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. This is my, this is my boy right here, my boy Lou. <laughs> and uh, so just thought we'd talk for a few minutes about uh, what's going on and maybe get some insights from maybe the best barista in the world. Maybe. It's quite really possibly. Top five at least. Top five. For sure. For sure. And uh, so John and I, you know, we we uh, we, we have some good uh, banter happening mm-hmm. back and forth. Yeah, we spent yeah. a lot of time together. Yeah. We were a little jealous, I think. Yeah, yeah. We Both were to Hawaii parties. last year. Uh-huh. That was fun. That was great. I had a great time. So maybe take your barista to Hawaii. Who knows? But, um, <laughs> we would appreciate it. Yeah. All of us would. Well, we, we thought it'd be fun to kind of talk, you know, to um, someone that's, you know, on the ground and, and maybe get some insights about um, how, how to just... What does it mean to connect and, and uh, just build a good relationship? Maybe, John, give it. Tell us maybe a little about yourself. Sure. And then, uh, sure. Let's just chat. Yeah. All right, let's do that. <laughs> uh, I am a manager here at Starbucks, and we see lots of people every single day, hundreds of people a day. And uh, there's a lot of them that just kind of come and go. But then there's some that we have that special relationship with, you know, where it's uh, it's fun to see those people every day. And it's, it's fun to spend time and get to know each other, and we all know a little bit about, you, about each other's lives. And, and that's my favorite part of the day, and that's my favorite part of the job. So uh, it's people like Tim here and his, his lovely family uh, that, you know, make it fun coming to work. So so you're telling me about some things that kind of bug you, annoy you. Like, you know what, these are the people that just, you know what, when I see them coming, man, I'm breaking the decaf out. <laughs> there is the other side of the coin, right? Yeah. You, you, you've got cell phone dude. So you know, dude, in, yeah. in line with the phone, you see him coming a mile away. Yeah. You, that BlackBerry is super important, you know. Right. And he's got a conversation going, and it's his turn, and there's people behind him. Just give me you. You like that guy? Oh, he's my best friend. He's your best friend. He's my best friend. Um, you know, can't be bothered to put it down. Just take that minute, that little break, that 30 seconds to spend some time. You know, I, I put my phone down, and I, and I had that 30 seconds ready for him, so... Uh, yeah, that, that one's tough. That one's tough. Uh, the indecisive one yeah. is tough as well. You know, like we do have tens of thousands of flavor combinations, but, uh, you know, be nice. Let that person behind you go in front of you while you're trying to figure out which frappuccino you want to do. Yeah. I understand. It's difficult, but I do. I do. And you were saying that you love kind of the whole community aspect. Love it. Love it. Okay, maybe talk a little bit. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're, we're really fortunate here in South Lake Union to have... Uh, a lot of regular customers, a lot of people that spend a lot of time in our store, committed to the store and the, and the community here. And, um, you know, we like to give that back as well. So the people that we see every day, we like to get to know, uh, spend time with, um, find out, you know, what makes them happy, get their drinks coming up, you know. And uh, I feel like that's the majority of the people that we see here on a given day. And it's a huge contrast to other stores where uh, either, you know, it's just different faces every day or it's just... You know, same people, but you never take that little bit of extra effort to get to know each other uh, and really kind of enjoy spending this time together as we get you caffeinated. So, so maybe what's your final tip of the day? If this is it, like your right. words of wisdom to Seattle here. This, this is my, ch- this is my yeah. chance. Yeah, this is All right. Uh, get to know your barista. Spend that extra 30 seconds, you know, whether it's with the first minute at the register, the person making your drink. Just say hi. Introduce yourself. Uh, we all know you by your drink, you know. Before he was Tim, he was... Grande, one inch steam breve, two raw sugar Americano guy. <laughs> He's a nice guy, that Grande. That, am, I, oh. high, am I at that high maintenance? Man? Did oh I just gosh. out you in front of oh everybody? <laughs> they all know. I mean, was it worse when it was two pumps cinnamon dolce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. I'm just it's saying. It's summer. I got it. You know, hey, you know, I mean, we'll get you something. We'll be back to pumpkin spice here in the fall. Right. Right. I know you're excited. That's I know you're excited. Right. Uh, but, you know, take the, take the seven to go beyond uh, cute barista dude or girl that is kind of annoying or, you know, drink guy to uh, I'm John, this is Tim, we know each other. Uh, look forward to seeing each other every day. Just kind of you know, punch through that wall and get to know, these people, get to know them as people. Because, yeah. you know, it makes it a lot more fun that way. Yeah. And then we won't give you decaf. There it is, and you won't get decaf. Get to know your barista. <laughs> See you later.